What's up guys, we're back with an insane video. Today we're opening something that I've never opened before. A Tournament Pack 1 box. I don't know if you call it a booster box, it's just a box. It has 20 packs inside. We can't even be 100% sure it's Tournament Pack 1 until we open it because they didn't mark it. They're just in these really weird white boxes. So all the Tournament Pack 1 through 6, I believe, came in these. And then 7 and 8 had 100 pack boxes. So... Uh, the guy who sold me this had opened some before, like from the same like group, I guess. I don't know. And they were Tournament Pack 1. So we're pretty sure these are Tournament Pack 1. We'll find out soon. But inside, you can get the Mechanical Chaser, which sold at one point in PSA 10 for $15,000. I think there was another sale. The next one was less. It was like $12,000. But still, a very expensive card. And I'm going to show you guys a few cards that I need for my TP set. In Tournament Pack, there's only one Ultra and four Supers for the first few sets. So here are the cards you can get besides I'm missing one of them. So here's the Mechanical Chaser. Uh, it is a former PSA 7. So it is faded, which is unusual, which is really cool about it. And it was also a PSA 7, so I cracked it. Uh, and then these are the three supers. This one is not near mint. This is probably the best super in the set. This one's like more like mod play, but I, I picked it up a while back. So these are four of the five foils you can get. So I need a white hole would be the fifth one. So that'd be a good, nice one to pull. Obviously, I need this because it's an ultra rare. I don't have this one in PSA 10. And I have completed six out of the eight ultra rares from Tournament Pack in PSA 10. So we have Morphing Jar, which is TP2. So I don't have number one, which is Mech Chaser. And I don't have number three, which is, um, I almost said Needle Fiber. <laughs> needle, needle Worm. Then I have Royal Decree, Luminous Soldier, Tournament Pack 6, Toon Cannon Soldier. We've got the DD Warrior and the Magic Arm Shield. So I have six out of eight right now. I need the Tournament Pack 1 Mech Chaser PSA 10. So if we pull it and it is gradable, that would be insane. Then I could have seven out of eight. Needle Worm is nearly impossible to get. You guys have heard me talk about this before. But after all that, we have the giveaway. We have these three cards. They're all original print cards. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what you want to see out of this Tournament Pack 1 box. So this set, I believe, has 30 cards in it. The Tournament packs after Tournament Pack 2 went down to like 20 cards, so this has a lot more. They're actually all the original printings of all these cards in here. Once you get to TP3, it had a bunch of reprints. So this one's really, really cool. Um, let's just go ahead and open it up, guys. I, by the way, I spent $4,500 on this box, so about $225 a pack. Never do math while on video, so I'm probably wrong, but here we go. Whew, the moment of truth. Will it be TP1 or will it be TP5, the one that's actually really bad and everyone always ends up getting it? Not bad, but it's the worst one. Okay, here we go. Broke the seal. Here we go. Tournament pack, first season. There it is. We have the first season, which by the way, the tournament pack first season came out in December of 2002. So the very first year of Yu-Gi-Oh, the very first tournament pack. Okay. This is one of the rarest tournament packs. Could be considered possibly the rarest. I think TP2 is usually considered the rarest. TP1 also did have like European printings and stuff. So that might be kind of the reason people don't think it's as rare. But it's probably arguably one of the rarest. But still really cool. Tournament pack, first edition. Or not first edition, first season. So let's go. Let's go ahead and open this. I know it's been a while. We've been talking for a while. But it's a big video. I've always wanted to open this up. So here we go. For the ratios. You usually get one super every 18 packs. So you usually get one super a box. And then the ultra rare, which is the mech chaser, one out of 108 packs. So we have a small chance to pull this. The guy I bought this from said he opened four boxes and never got the ultra. So I don't know if they were all like from the same place or not. Maybe that gives us a better chance. Probably not though. I feel a little bit bad though because he did. Okay, I think the I think the rare is going to be at the front. So we'll find out in this first one. Um, I think that i don't know what i was saying i can't remember I'm, I'm totally uh locked in on this here we go let's open this up this is gonna be a little bit cringy but i want to make sure we know where the rare is first oh let's open it up so we can't spoil it the first time oh <laughs> never mind it's backwards okay perfect so we don't know there's not a rare in every pack it's one every three packs has a rare and some of these commons are worth like 20 30 bucks and some of the rares are worth like 200 dollars. so it's kind of crazy i think elf's light is the highest We've got the Bean Soldier, the legend, the Bean himself. That's awesome. Ooh, this is a nice rare, a steel shell. So let's see if this is going to be gradable. Some of these are very low pop, and I know a lot of people, not a lot, but a few people collect these uh, rares in PSA 10. The centering is kind of off, so that's not really good. a good sign for our rares. That looks like it might not be able to grade a 10 because of the centering. So our first pack had a rare, so that's a good start. 
I gotta keep these cards really nice because even the commons are worth quite a bit. Okay, next pack. So we can open it normally because the cards are pointed the other way. So that's nice. That's really nice. I hate when they turn them like right towards you and there's like the rare sticking out right at you and you're like, okay. Okay, buddy. You don't have to spoil it for us. All right, so as I said, the ones I really want to pull are Mech Chaser, White Hole, or Axe Raider. So any of those three is great. And then obviously you can get two. You can possibly get two hollows, but it's unlikely. We got Corroding, Corroding Shark, the Cockroach Knight. There you go. And Shining Friendship. I think this one's worth quite a bit too. A lot of these cards are worth a lot because this is their first printing and tons of them didn't get reprinted. So they just have like one random printing that's just kind of weird for tournament pack commons sometimes. And then they just have a ton of value because there's just no other cards of them. They're kind of unique. All right, third pack. Here we go. We got the statue of the Easter Island. If that doesn't remind you of Night at the Museum, I don't know what, what will. The Judgment Hand. Here we go. Make sure you guys hit the like button for this video because this is pretty expensive. Pretty epic old opening. The centering is pathetic. Look at it. Oh my goodness. Mechanical Chaser Ultra Rare pulled from tournament pack one unbelievable that is like an eight centering though that is so epic look at the back oh my god this is like some of the worst centering I've ever seen it might be able to get a 9 oc if this thing's nice wow okay that's totally worth it even though the thing is like ridiculously off-centered this totally makes this opening worth it i feel really bad for the seller <laughs> Because he told me he went 0 for 4 on boxes. He did buy them like 6 years ago, I think. So he probably spent like... I probably covered all the costs of all of his boxes times like 3. But still, that does stink that he opened all those and didn't get it. Unbelievable. That centering is absolutely awful. You know what's so weird? Okay, we gotta set this back here. You know what's so weird about Tournament Pack 1? I think Jobber, Old School Expert, and now me have all opened this. One box, and everyone's pulled Mech Chaser. I don't know if anyone's not pulled it on YouTube. Because it hasn't been opened very often. But when it is opened, people pull Mech Chaser. It's really weird, because it's like, the chances are tiny. It's just like, we happen to get the right box. Man, that centering is so bad. What an epic pull. I'm still hyped about it, though. So, now we're thinking, do, will we get a super as well? Because I think Old School Expert got an Axe Raider and a Mech Chaser. And Jobber got just a Mech Chaser. So, it's possible we could get another one we could not. Alright, this is the, according to TCG, which is kind of random with these old cards, this is the most expensive common. We have a Winged Dragon Guardian of the Fortress number 2. Giant Flea. And a Beast King of the Swamp. I don't think this one's very good because it was reprinted in TB5. So, it's um, not that unique or whatever. Because it's actually kind of a decent card at the time, probably. Because it's the fusion support or whatever. Some of the other ones are just like really bad rares that would never be used, so there's they didn't bother reprinting it. Is what I'm thinking. That's probably what happened. I can't believe you pulled an ultra rare, guys. One in 108 packs. That's pretty awesome. Okay, we have Kuwagata A, Cyber Soldier of Dark World, and another Cockroach Knight. Okay, so will we get the whole set out of here besides the supers, obviously, and probably not all the rares. So, but all the commons, I figure we'll get out of 20 packs. Tournament pack, first season. Wow. I can't believe it. Okay. I can't believe that was in there. I did not expect to pull it. We've got an Ocelo hero. And it came... It, it was in there quickly. Yeah, I was going to say something else that sounded weird. We got the WoW Warrior, the, the World of Warcraft Warrior. We got the Wodon, the Resident of the Forest. I mean, just look at that guy. Increase this card's attack by 100 for every plant type monster that's face up on the field. So this guy could get up to 1300 attack. What a stud. What a stud. I'm sure you're playing that in your plant decks. <laughs> that is amazing. Wow. This is fun. This is fun to pull something good, guys. So it's nice because we opened MFC. We got nothing. Basically, I mean, we got some stuff, but when we were good. Cy uh, Cybernetic Revolution, nothing. So it's nice to get something good. Okay, we got a Hercules Beetle. There we go. Oh, a Gus fan. Okay, see, like, this is the kind of thing I'm talking about. There's no reason to reprint this. A wind monster equipped with this increases attack by 400 and decreases defense by 200. It's like, why would you ever reprint that? You wouldn't. That's why it's... That's why it's, uh, unique. Okay. Wow. What was that, like, the third or fourth pack we pulled it? 
Now I really want an Axe Raider. I really want to get Mech Chaser Axe Raider box. That'd be crazy. Um, and then of course White Hole. I've never owned a White Hole. It's the only one I don't own. Bean Soldier's got he's got some stuff on him. What in the world? Look at that. There's all this bean crap all over him. I think somebody got a bean on him. <laughs> okay. Corroding Shark. And a Cockroach Knight. Okay. The Cockroach Knight. We have seen him several times already. Okay, what do we have left? Three, six. We're not even halfway through right now. What have we got? Two of our rares? We do want to hit the blue medicine. So that is one that I know Gezi needs to be uh, get a PSA 10 in. And Gezi is the one who collects every single thing in PSA 10 possible. So if I get one and get a 10, or it can get a 10, I'm sure he'll want it. Statue of the Easter Island and the Judgment Hand. I don't know. That's kind of a cool, that's kind of a cool card. Judgment Hand. Wow, we got the 1850 Mechanical Chaser. It was an absolute legend of the time because 1850 was the highest four star. It's hilarious. One in 108 packs just for a vanilla beater. It's really funny. Wing Dragon Guardian of the Fortress. We got a giant flea. Ooh, a Rime. That's a cool one. Okay, this centering on the on the rares is a lot has gotten a lot better since the first one. This one seems pretty decent. Rime. We can inflict 300 damage to our opponent. Not bad. Not quite sparks, but pretty good. All right, next pack. Tournament pack, first season. Here we go. What are we about halfway through now? We've got an ultra rare. We have Shining Friendship. Make sure you guys subscribe for more epic openings in the future because we have more cool stuff like this coming up. It's going to be crazy. I was plugging the likes right when we pulled it. That was kind of funny. <laughs> it was like, no, 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 no. You don't even need likes. We're just going to blow we're just going to blow this up and get the ultra rare. Okay. So we should get, what, six rares, I would think, based on the ratio of six to seven. Right now we've gotten three, I think. Wing Dragon Guardian of the Fortress. Giant Flea. Oh, there's the blue medicine. How's the centering on it? Centering is not perfect. It's, it's borderline. Probably would get a nine, though, based on recent PSA. Being pretty strict, but we can always try that. Let's check the back for Gezi. The back looks pretty good. Maybe like a little bit of stuff in there. But not too bad. All right. Three, six, seven, eight packs left. Here we go. Eight packs. I don't know when you guys are going to see this. Maybe tomorrow. I just got it in and I was like, we're going to open this thing like right away. I'm hyped. All right. Cool got to A. Cyber Soldier of Dark World. Got a little nick up there. And the Ocelo Hero himself. The 1250 Beater. Yeah. You better watch out. There's some strong cards in here. <laughs> There's some absolutely strong cards. Okay. Should have done a tournament pack uh, sealed battle. Opened up tournament pack one and duel with the cards. <laughs> okay, Wild wow, Warrior. That would be very um, a bad idea, first of all, and not interesting. Oslo Hero number two. Okay, that's cool. Six packs. We've opened 14 out of the 20. We have six packs left. Will we get another super rare um, or another foil? Let me know in the comments right now. Do you believe in another foil? Will we go two out of one box, which is really good? Hercules Beetle. I think, I think no, actually, Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh opened a box, and he got two supers, so he didn't get the Mech Chaser. There's somebody. There's a Burning Spear, another rare. Slightly OC on that one. Yeah, it looks about the same as the Blue Medicine. It's a nice card. Yeah, but I think he got, like, the best two supers, I think. I think, well, he got an Axe Raider, and then he got maybe a Patrol Robo, which is probably not a best one, but... It's probably, I mean, the other three are probably tied. All right, we've got Corroding Shark. Let's see what we can get, guys. Cockroach Knight. Let's get the Axe Raider. Shining Friendship. Okay. Not quite an Axe Raider. A little ball of friendship, but, you know. You know how it goes. Here we go. Can we get a super rare? We got the WoW Warrior, another World of Warcraft Warrior, the Statue of the Ninth Museum, and the Judgment Hand. Okay. Three packs left. Will we get another rare? Will we get another super rare? Will we get an, another ultra rare? I don't think that's even possible. If that happens, I'm just going to lose it. <laughs> I'm going to lose it. All right, Winged Dragon. We've got the Flea. A harmless little flea. And a goddess with a third eye. Yeah, this isn't a good one either because this one was also reprinted in TP5. That might be our last rare. I'm not sure though. We'll see. We'll see. We have two packs left. Two more chances. 
a tournament pack one. Super rare. Here we go. Hit the like button for luck, guys. Kuwagata Alpha. I was saying A. I guess it's Alpha, technically. We got a Cyber Soldier of Dark World. And the Ocelot Hero again. All right, final pack. Final pack. Last chance at a foil, guys. Kind of have a good feeling. I don't know about you guys. Got a good feeling about this opening. Maybe we, maybe the good feeling will pay off. We'll see. Maybe it won't. It's already kind of paid off with the Mech Chaser. Okay, this isn't all the way open. Come on, get out of there. All right, hard to get out. You know what they, you know what they say about that. Wow, World of Warcraft. We've got the Wodan and final card of the Tournament Pack 1 2002 box opening. Here we go, guys. Oslo Hero number two, the classic. He should be in there at the end. Okay, so we just got a single foil, but it's the best card in the set, and it's way OC. <laughs> However, that is still amazing and absolutely awesome opening. I can't believe we just pulled an Ultra out of TP. That is so cool. Um, I'll kind of have a, a somewhat guess of what we pulled value out of here. We definitely didn't make our 4,500 back because even with if we grade this thing, I think it's going to get an 8. Maybe if it got a 9 OC... Then now it would have good value. I don't know if it would have 4,500, but we'd get a lot closer. We'll see. We'll probably still grade it just so we can have one. I don't know. Maybe we won't. Who knows? Let me know. Should we grade it or not? What do you guys think? And uh, that's it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you want to support my channel, click the TCG Player and eBay affiliate links below. And that's it for this video. See you guys later. Peace. Oh! Damn it. Elemental Hero, Dark Bright, Boom! Oh, <laughs> I've got, I've got something flying around here. What in the world? Get, go away. The Judgment Hand. <laughs>